In this video, we are going to learn how to keep cool without running the AC and uh, install some max air vents. Hopefully I don't screw it up. So uh, I'm gonna start by removing the escape hatch cover. Uh, I'm actually gonna install them there. I have some thoughts on that. Uh, some of you might be worried, but I figure, uh, you know, in an event where we need to use the escape hatch, um, things probably went pretty bad anyway, and I think we'd be able to get out a window or something with all the stuff that maybe had moved around. The only time you'd need an escape hatch is if the thing rolled over, and uh, most RVs don't have escape hatches. Uh, all you gotta do is Google um, RV rollover accident, and you'll see exactly why. Uh, but nice thing about a bus is it's got a frame that doesn't uh, fall apart like a normal RV would. So, I don't know. I'm thinking positive here, you know. Uh, I wear a flying helmet, not a crash helmet. So, this is what I ordered here. The Max Air Fan, or the Max Fan. Uh, it's the... Do I have it here? Got the Max Fan Deluxe Model 510K. Uh, this one has, so it has the rain hood, uh, which is nice. I think that's super nice with all these. Um, keeps, it looks like it keeps the big bugs and leaves out of here. Then it's got the nice screen here and uh, that fan that just really sucks, right? You can only use that as a compliment for fans and vacuum cleaners, I guess. Um, <clears throat> And then it's got the controls here. I do have the manual, uh, the manual knob here. And part of the reason I stuck with that is, well, one, I bought two of these, so it saved me some money. And two, um, if the electronic board goes bad, which it can, I can still operate this. Whereas if it's all electronic, and you can't operate it, then it's stuck open or closed. You're kind of SOL. One more thing that's kind of cool about this I noticed is, is there are these uh, RJ45 jacks here that you can connect the wired remote to, which gives you all these controls here, plus maybe a couple more, uh, wherever you want, which is pretty cool. So I would say that's almost better than the wireless remote because the wireless remote is infrared, which means it needs a line of sight. So, I mean, you gotta point the thing at it. You might as well just have a wired remote where you can just do whatever you want. Well, let me uh, give it some power and we can test it here real quick. So this guy has power now. So I believe we could just turn it on. Yeah, there it goes. That's like its lowest setting. Boy, you can barely hear that, and I can feel it moving a ton of air. I mean, that would probably exchange all the air in the bus in a couple minutes easily, especially with one running at the other end in the opposite direction, which is kind of cool. Um, here, we'll crank it up a little bit. That's probably its lowest, I think. Faster, faster. Now we're moving some air. All right, when that double beep, that must mean it's as fast as it'll go. Let's, uh, this is kind of cool. If I want to switch it uh, from blowing in to sucking out, I hit that button, slows it down automatically, and then it spins the other way. And now I'm pretty sure it's blowing at me. I can feel it. Um, this is kind of cool too. It's, so then it's also got this option here. Actually, let's turn it off. It has this option here, hold set to 68. So it has a, a, a thermostat somewhere in there to basically, it'll run this until it gets to 68 and then it'll stop and, and it'll just keep turning on and off to hold 68. So let's do that. It's, well, it's uh, like high 50s, low 60s here today. So that's not gonna really do anything. Uh, that's about all I have there. I uh, pulled the escape hatch off the bus. 
and then I'm starting to mark where I'm going to cut here. I'm basically going to cut this entire section out and then the other side here it'll be something like that. I'll put it here. Now I am going to have these things to worry about here. I'm thinking about maybe just hammering those flat. I don't think, because this is just aluminum, I think it would uh, bend just fine. And then liberal use of die core around here will seal it all up. So I think that should work uh, pretty well. And then uh, to hook this back up, I, yeah, I think I just have to do, yeah, I just end up uh, bolting these back in and I'll probably have to, uh, Maybe put a couple of screws up front here or something. That is the plan there, and we'll see where we get. I got this, uh, the hole cut out, and the uh, top part fits in there pretty well. I, uh, yeah, I used a combination of the angle grinder here and my uh, uh, jigsaw. Jigsaw works real good on... Um, the aluminum and actually the angle grinder worked great on the back side the back side of this is fiberglass um, if I did it over again there's, uh, I would have just cut these two rivets out and that lets the there's a metal bar that goes across there it would let it just come right out without too much trouble instead where is it here here are the guts on the inside here I had to cut through Part of that, as you can see, and that was a pain in the butt. Where if I just would have taken those rivets out, it just I could have just turned it sideways a little bit and it just would have dropped right out. Oh well, it's all about learning and a journey, right? So I think my next task, um, I'm going to shove some some of this excess uh, insulation in here, and then clean this surface up real good, and then double check the instructions on this as far as which way these screws go. Uh, I'm guessing actually looking at this, uh, I don't know, I need to, oh, yeah, because the screw holes are here, it has to be on the sides, okay, so, this is the way it needs to go, weather strip up, got a new thing, a lap sealant, so I'm good there, this guy makes me feel like it's going to work really good, I don't think they put his face on something that was not going to work good, so, got that going for me, which is nice. All right, let's get at it. All right, we have the Max Air fan installed. And yeah, that's the right way. Because these were, these were facing the front of the bus, so this can then open up. I'll show you what it looks like from the bottom here. It's all in there. Now, I think I can just set it here. Yeah. Then there's this, I think they call this a beauty cover. This will then slide in there. All right, so something like that. And I'm gonna have to measure how far I want that to go in, then I'll cut it. So it gives you a lot of room there. Um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly where I wanna cut this. I'll show you when I get inside. I got a couple options. But uh, I think for right now, I'm going to put this back on and I will mount it with these. And then there's a rubber gasket that goes around here on the top of the bus. And I kind of like this because I could take this completely out again if I want. And then probably what I will do here is uh, build some piece that latches or kind of cinches this part down. So then, uh, yeah, I don't have to really do a whole lot different. Um, obviously, these latches are gone, but I will latch it from up here. That way they kind of stay functionally there. Uh, a little harder to open, but not completely useless. All right, so the fan is installed. We are good to go that way. I have the wire run like I was planning on. It just goes right underneath there and just kind of goes all along this rail all the way back to the power 
area there. And I'll end up finishing this off here with some kind of probably similar vinyl covered uh, panel that just kind of goes right over here. And then uh, this beauty piece will cover it. And then I'll also have some kind of latch here to latch this down because this of course still can still lift that up currently uh, but it seals pretty well let's uh show you how it operates here that is on okay that must be what i left it at all right that's as quiet as it is and i barely even hear that to be honest the thing's just barely moving and uh, we can crank it up. And it really moves some air. I mean, that, that, feels, that feels pretty good. Um, there's a little piece of insulation here. We gotta get the air started. It's moving. Well, it's getting late here on the next day, but I got the front one installed and that went pretty easily. No uh, problems. Let's get a logo shot here. This is not sponsored, obviously. I'm not big time like that, but just want everyone to know what I'm putting in here. The Max fans, I am a big fan. As a father, I think I'm allowed that dad joke, right? I'm a big fan. Uh, so anyway, so that's that will wrap up the uh, the fan install video. Uh, it's probably not as long as you're used to, but. Hopefully you enjoy it and uh, maybe learn something. So if you, uh, what, what do they say? Uh, thumbs up, like it if you if you liked it, right? And uh, subscribe if you loved it and you wanna see more of me almost screwing up, sometimes screwing up. All right, bye.